Hey YouTube, uh, Ramberto here um, with another video on the 7640G. I wanted to do a um, overclocking uh, tutorial video on just how to do this and how easy it is. Um, I guess there's been some questions on, you know, do you mess with the voltages when you overclock? What are the speeds you overclock to? Um, and there's been even some questions is, uh, does it even work? I guess there's some people out there saying that they're trying to overclock it and they're not seeing any performance whatsoever. So today we're going to prove um, that it does work and it's very easy to do. I'm not a computer expert. I'm just a gamer trying to get some more performance out of this poor laptop um, until I get my gaming rig. Um, and, and by the way, this laptop has blown me away, man. Um, there's people at work that, that have seen me playing games on it and stuff. Um, and they're just blown away at the performance too. Um, with the 7640G, I had four gigabytes of RAM. That's what came stock with it. Um, it's a 1333 megahertz. Um, I upgraded to eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz RAM at Fry's Electronics for like 48 bucks. And uh, this laptop went from nothing to something real quick. Um, so if you have anything less than eight gigabytes of RAM in this laptop, um, go out and upgrade, man. It's a cheap upgrade. Um, you know, skip a couple McDonald's meals and and upgrade the laptop, and then uh, start doing some some gaming. Um, so here we go. Um, the program that I use is the AMD Overdrive. Um, it's simple. It seems like it's working to me. Um, and I'm going to do some benchmark tests in my other video with Just Cause 2. I like that benchmark. And uh, this will actually be like a three-part series. So this is the first part on how to actually overclock um, the GPU. Remember, we're overclocking the graphics card. Um, granted, it doesn't have a graphics card in it. It's an onboard graphics card, which means it's combined with the CPU. Um, but we are not overclocking the CPU um, we're overclocking the GPU, okay? Just to, just to clarify that. Um, also, this laptop has what they call Turbo Core or Turbo Boost technology, um, where it'll turbo boost in some strenuous situations the laptop to uh, 2.8 gigahertz, I believe it is. I've never seen it do that, and, and I've had it playing some, some crazy games um, like Arma 2 with 100 guys on the screen, um, and it's just getting horrible frame rates at that point because I don't think it can handle it. And I'll go in, and it still has not turbo boost, so I don't know what they mean by strenuous situations because if that's not a strenuous situation, I don't know what is. So, um, but uh, you also have to have, let me tell you guys, you have to have this laptop plugged in to game. If you don't have this laptop plugged in to game, um, when you have it unplugged, it goes down into power saving mode, which if you look into your uh, power settings in the um, AMD Catalyst, um, the max you can set it to is 1.8, and we'll go over that right now as well. Okay, so um, let's get started with just the introductory to the laptop. Um, let's go to my computer, system properties. Um, as you guys can see, it is the AMD A8-4500M. Um, it's got the 1.9 gigahertz, um, and it says on the uh, tag that's attached to the laptop that it has a turbo boost to 2.8. So um, it's got eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, and it's running on Windows 7. Okay, so that's that. And now we're going to open up AMD Overdrive, um, which AMD Overdrive, when you first open it up, okay, um, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to ask you, well, actually, let's just go back and open it up. When you first open it up, it's going to ask you AMD Overdrive. It's going to have a warning, you know, overclocking, blah, blah, blah. They're not responsible for your damages to your computer. You're on your own. Okay, we click yes. Um, now, I don't mess with any of this stuff here. I don't even know what this means, okay? I'm not going to mess with it. If you go to CPU status, this is for your CPU, okay? Um, the frequency that it's running at right now is 2.3. This is what it stays at consistently all the time when plugged in, okay? Um, now, you do have to go into your AMD Overdrive Catalyst, um power options and make sure that it's going to go up to 2.3 when plugged in 
because right out of the box, the, the power settings aren't set to that, okay? Um, we'll, we'll go into that in a second. Um, this is your, now I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna unplug the laptop and watch what happens. Okay, did you see how the power, the frequency of the um, clock speed dropped to 1.4? So right now my CPU is at 1.4, okay? If I plug the laptop back in, it goes into full power mode and it jumps back up to 2.3, okay? So that's what you wanna have. You wanna have this thing plugged in when you're trying to do games. Okay, now we're gonna go to the GPU. See how the GPU clock speed is at th uh, 334 megahertz? That's what it defaults to, okay? Um, when you overclock in AMD Overdrive, the way mine works is every time I restart my computer, it resets my laptop to factory settings, which is cool because I don't always want to have my laptop overclocked. You know, I don't want to be, you know, surfing the internet and looking at YouTube videos with it overclocked. If there's no reason to have it overclocked, I don't. Sometimes I don't even have it overclocked when I'm playing games. If I'm playing like, you know, the Elder Scrolls, you know, Oblivion or Morrowind, you don't have to have this laptop clock to play those games. Uh, if you're going to play, you know, um, graphic extensive games like uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, 